have been very tough, as they always are. You know, um, the World Cup qualifiers are always uh, we're always up against um, some of the best nations. In this case, we've uh, played Netherlands, Norway, Montenegro. You know, top quality sides. Who you know, they well, their, their names speak speak enough about them. You know, um, I think we've done well. I think we've competed in big parts. But again, you know, I've, I repeat myself in, in, in many interviews about about doing it for 90 minutes, and that's the tough the tough ask is that is doing that for 90 minutes. You know, the concentration levels, the fitness levels, it's standards uh, standards which we're trying to raise with every game. And I think we are. I think we are. It's just unfortunate that at this level, when those standards uh, fall, you can get punished and you can get punished severely. Um, saying that, I think we've been very good as well in parts where, for example, against Turkey in, the, in our home fish especially, where we kept possession very well. I think we gave Turkey a big fright. And to be honest, I think if, Tur if we score when TJ hits the post early on in the second half, I would have liked to see what um, what the end result of that match would have been, I'm not saying we would have gone on and won, but I would have liked to see Turkey's reaction and our reaction, you know, little things like that, especially for the, the smaller teams, make a big difference. It's a complete uh, different level of football, and with all due respect and all due respect to the minnows in football, ourselves included, you know, you're talking about, I would say, you know, Champions League football and domestic football from a club level perspective. Um, you know, we, in, the, in the Nations League, we were back up against teams which were of our level, you know, maybe slightly better um, in Liechtenstein and, and San Marino. I think we had, we did a, an excellent campaign, and you know, and managed to get promoted. I mean, we went on on to get into promoted, and we and we did that, and that shows, uh, you know, how well we've done. We'll be going now into Group C, and that will be a, a whole different ball game. You know, we'll be playing against nations who have been dropping from from Group B. Some were very strong, and uh, we'll do well in getting points in that, and people will see, you know, what a big difference it is. But we will be there through merit, so that's where we're supposed to be. And when you look at the groups, uh, you'll see Gibraltar in Group C and not in Group D. And I'm sure there's, there's nations in Group D who would love to be where we are. We went from Sunday League to playing the World Champions in the space of like four or five months, which is, I mean, as, as harsh as that sounds, that's exactly what it was. I went from training in, in Humphreys Estate and running around the Guari on concrete to facing the World Champions in Nuremberg, a team who had just beaten Brazil 7-1 in the semi-finals of the World Cup. So, you know, it's it's easier said than done, let's say. And when you look at the score lines that we got, again, under, under Alan, Alan Buda, who's, you know, who, who, who went, who took us through that transition period. I think, again, you know, I'll have to tell you how, how well we've done. The the young players coming up now are lucky that the, they will get the, the platform from, let's say, the 16s, the under-16 tournaments, under-17s, under-19s, under-21s. So a lot of international experience that will, you know, provide them with with a great platform to express themselves when they get into the senior level. Oh, that's a good question. Um, for me, Julio is just is a guy who is football. He is football. I mean, I, I used to think that. Um, that I loved football and, and that I was a football man. You know, he makes me look like I don't like football. He's, that's all he speaks about. All he does is watch matches. He analyzes matches, uh, his preparation for matches, uh, his man management with, uh, with the players on and off the pitch. I know it's a bit silly, but everything really. I mean, from, from my previous experiences anyway, uh, you know, the little bit of let's call it professional football I've had, you know, the last eight years. Um, for me, he's the best manager I've, I've played under, um, and that's respecting all the others I've played under. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he just brings everything with him in, in, in terms of, of preparation. You know, he's, he's, he's on it all the time. He doesn't let your levels drop. You know, he expects 100% um, commitment, but everything he demands from you, he gives, so he's he, he's an example to everyone, and, and his energy levels are contagious around the whole squad. Not only the squad, the technical team, everything about about the GFA now, I think is is part and parcel. I mean, Julio has brought that, um, maybe that you want to call the world professionalism, but yeah, I, th I think Gibraltar football is a better place since Julio took over as an international team manager. Well, it's going to be a very, very tight match. Um, I thought we were unlucky when we played Latvia away. We lost 3-1, um, 
Um, I thought we did well to get back into it when we scored the penalty. Um, unfortunately, again, you know, uh, a moment of loss of concentration, let's say, and, and they're two-one up and three-one up instantly as well. Um, we didn't start very well in that game. I thought um, the nerves got over us. I thought it was a game where we were going into thinking, you know, we we stand a chance here today of, of, of getting a result. Um, and we weren't. I thought we were very we're well, not very poor, but we weren't as good as we can be. And we were disappointed with our performance in the first half. But we went out the second, and I, I think we we did ourselves we did ourselves proud. Um, I'm expecting a tough game tomorrow. But a game again, which I think if, if we're at our best and we can compete, it's definitely a game where, where we're looking at, at getting a result if we can. We're going to need all the support we can get. You know, hopefully it's a packed stadium because people don't realise, but it, it means so much to us when we're playing, when you've got a full crowd behind you, you know, like all the other nations have when we play away. It, it's good to have that when, when we play at home, you know, the, the full support, everyone behind us. And, you know, let's hope we can make history. Just to support us, you know, no matter what happens tomorrow, if we go gold down, that's when we need you most, you know, when we've got our backs against the wall. So just that, just support us and full on, hopefully we'll, we'll sell out and then it'll be a historic day. Thank you.